Hi Libra, welcome to your February 15th through the 28th tarot reading. Crowning your read we have Attraction, which says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't talk today. And the lovers. Next, you have Unrequited Love, which says there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Clarified by the Page of Cups and the Three of Wands. So Libra, you could be connecting with an Earth sign. I have every, every element on the chart here, I mean on the table here, guys. So you could be dealing with anyone. Um, Particularly somebody who is very slow moving. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. This is somebody who is a lover. You're very attracted to this person. It's interesting because I think someone did want to offer you their cup, Libra, because the, the Page of Cups is here, but you felt like you were waiting too long for this person. And you, you kind of like lost feelings a little bit. Because it says there's not, it's funny because there's attraction and then there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I think it's crazy how Libras can switch up so quick, you know what I mean? Because it's like the scale. So you can go from one end to the other, like super quick. So I think what happened here was you were infatuated by someone. You did feel like they were your lover for a long time. Um, but they were just moving too slow. For whatever reason, they were moving too slow, and you know, air is very fast moving, so you wanted to move very fast into this. Um, you wanted to offer your cup up super quick, but you felt like you were waiting too long for this person, so maybe you've decided to walk away. Let's see. Can I find this Knight of Pentacles, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Knight of Pentacles for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. February 15th through the 28th. Temperance. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, or just, there was an unequal balance of give and take here with this person. Somebody was giving more than the other person, especially of their emotions. I'm definitely getting that this was you, Libra. Um... If you're a Libra with Sagittarius in your chart, or a Libra with fire in your chart, you were the one giving more emotions, and the other person didn't. Or, if you're a Libra with Earth in your chart, you were the one taking things slow. But take it as it resonates. Temperance was just like somebody wanted you to be patient with them, um, because they were moving slow here, but they were keeping you stuck, Libra. Somebody was very stuck. It's like... They didn't want to let you go, but they also didn't want to have you. Does that make sense? And that's a very selfish energy. It's a very, very selfish energy. Clarify the lovers here, please, for Libra. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. I just saw the Hermit while shuffling the deck. Some of you guys could be learning a skill right now, or um, if not, you were putting a lot of work into this lover that you were very attracted to. You could have been very physically attracted to this person too, or very physically attractive to this person. You know, Libras are known for being very beautiful. So I think what's going on here is you had tried so many times with this person to be patient with them, to love them, to take it slow. And it's just like they still weren't offering their cup no matter what you did, so... It's like... It's interesting because it's like, I see here in this unrequited love card... Um, I think that there's angels here kind of guiding this situation. Somebody really wants to be with you, Libra, now that you've decided to walk away. I, I am getting that some of you have walked away. I don't know why, it doesn't even really explicitly say that in the spread, but just the unrequited love thing, especially if you're a Libra female, there's a man here kissing on the hand of this woman, and she's just kind of looking at him like, you know, and I think that's kind of like your vibe, 
Because you have angels telling you that this person isn't going to budge. And you know what you want, Libra. You know what you want. I do think some of you guys are going to end up either getting rejected from this person or rejecting this person. I do think you are going to be the ones rejecting this person. Like I said, I, did, I didn't see it explicitly in the spread, but I am seeing that somebody here is walking away. They're deciding to walk away from this person because somebody was moving very slow. Um, somebody is ready for an emotional offer here. I think this is you, Libra. You're ready to be in love. You're ready to work on a romantic commitment. You're ready to grow something very big. And there's angels telling you here that that's happening for you, but you're going to have to walk away from this person in order to get that. Let's see, clarify this Three of Wands, please. Yeah, guys, oh wow, Five of Pentacles. Somebody got left out in the cold. I think some of you guys completely ghosted this person. Usually when I see um, these two cards together in a spread, I think ghost. Like somebody went ghost because they were waiting too long. Um... And now, this person's coming back around like, I'm so sorry, please take me back, like, I'll move faster, I'll do whatever you want, like, and I would be very weary of this person, guys, especially if they're an earth sign. Um, earth signs tend to be very self-serving. So, the way that this person thinks is like, what's in it for me? Whenever they, whenever they make a decision, they're like, what's in it for me? And I know that typically human beings are self-centered like that, but this person isn't the most selfless person. Meaning that they're not very selfless with their emotions either. And I don't think you want that, Libra. I think you want something more deep. You want a connection with somebody. Yeah, guys, some of, some of you guys are going to be turning your back on an earth sign or a Sagittarius. Um, you're feeling very betrayed by this person for whatever reason, or they're feeling betrayed by you. But... The thing, you know, even though the Ten of Swords can be kind of like a, well, it is a negative card typically when seen in a spread, there's a sunrise in the background. The dark is going away. So now that you've kind of turned your back on this person, or you're going to be turning your back on this person, the sun will rise again. Clarify the lovers, please. Clarify the lovers and the Eight of Pentacles. I really just think you want a relationship, Libra. And I totally get that. I'm a Libra rising. So I resonate with this spread 100%. <laughs> yeah, you wanted a new beginning here with this person who has previously betrayed you in the past. <laughs> Definitely strong earth sign energy, Sagittarius. Could be Sagittarius because Ace of Wands is here, but maybe even a Gemini. I don't know, I see pretty much everything here. But those are just the signs that I'm seeing. Um, you were trying to have a new beginning in love with this person and you were really willing to put in the work. Like you really were. And I think you were just, this person was kind of playing you a little bit. They were kind of like stringing you along a little bit. Like they're like, oh, I promise, like we'll get together soon. Like it's eventually going to go somewhere. But in reality, this was going nowhere. There was a lot of jealousy. There was illumination on some jealous feelings that maybe you were having or the other person. Somebody was very jealous here. And let's see. Clarify this page of cups and the four of cups. If you're a Libra with water in your chart, you're definitely going to be rejecting some sort of emotional offer that you're given. I think somebody's going to be sniffing out that you want to walk away and then they're going to try... They're going to want to try, but you're going to be so done by then, guys. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. Um, you guys are going to just decide to leave this person in the dust, is what I'm seeing here. Because you're very comfortable with yourself. You're at a happy place right now. You're like, I don't need love. Like, don't get me wrong. You totally want it. You totally want this love, and you're willing to put in the effort. You want this new beginning in love. But... Not at the expense of your own heart or at your own happiness, you know what I mean? You love yourself enough, Libra, that you're willing to be single and alone <coughs> if it means you're happy. Sorry guys, I got a little bit of allergies right now, so if I cough or if I sneeze or anything, just bear with me. King of Swords. Yeah guys, some of you guys are going to be severing this connection. 
it's crazy because I really do, I really, really think some of you guys just went, you took a 180 and just flipped. Something happened, guys. Like, something happened here at the beginning of the two-week period, maybe on the 15th, that made you feel so betrayed, made you feel backstabbed, right? And what it did was it allowed you to have, like, a complete change of perspective in a sense where you were able to detach yourself from the emotions that you had from this per with the, with this person enough that you could reject them does that make sense like so what I'm seeing here is typically you're very loving you're very um you're probably the touchy type you love to like smell their hair or just like you know be very touchy and involved with them but something happened Libra that made your heart go very cold with this person and you turned into a king of swords real quick. You went from a page of cups, from offering your cup to a king of swords really quick. Like, something happened here, guys, that made you just like, oh my god. And you just matured so quick. And you went to the other end of the spectrum because you, you didn't just mature into the king of cups. Because the page of cups maturing would obviously be a king of cups, right? You, like, matured and went into, like, a complete different mindset. You're like, uh-uh. I'm thinking about this with a logical perspective now. I'm not thinking about this with my heart anymore. And because of that, I'm cutting your ass out. I'm serious. Some of you guys are like, and then this person's begging. They're like, no, they see, they see this change. And they're just like, oh my God. Like, they were not expecting this at all. They were not expecting this. Yeah, guys, I really do think that some of you are going to be coming out of this bound feeling. You feel like you've been bound to this for so long. Like, like you had to wait for this person, you know what I mean? For whatever reason, you felt like you had to wait for this person. But it's because there still wasn't information that you knew yet, so that was keeping you bound, right? But she's bound to swords and she doesn't even realize. So, she has the complete and total free will to break herself free, but she chooses to stay bound because she doesn't know that she's bound. Does that make sense? So you had the total free will to leave this situation, but you chose to stay for whatever reason. But, the end of these two weeks, guys, someone's walking away. I'm hearing, like, enough is enough. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Like, you're, you're really seeing... Oh, wow. You're really seeing your worth here, Libra. You know what you want. And you're not going to let anybody stand in the way. Oh, wow, all these cards fell. One moment, guys. devil trying to ruin my day again. Not today, Satan. Okay, so let me put you guys a or uh, an advice card for these two weeks. The dreamer, or the fool. Take a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. Yeah, guys, take a leap of faith in yourself. I think I told another sign this. I want to say it was like Taurus or I'm not sure actually who it was, but they got, they got the, the dreamer too as their advice. You're very protected right now, Libra. You have this like aura about you right now. Like you could be in the public eye, but even, even necessarily, not, even if you're not in the public eye right now, um, I, I do think some of you are for work though, for a skill that you've been, you know, you've been practicing. You have this new beginning in work. You have this like aura around you that's just so colorful and so attractive. So use that to your advantage. Don't be wasting your energy on this person who has nothing to give you in return, guys. Because this person, I'm serious, has nothing to give. Like absolutely nothing. Emotionally, maybe they buy you dinner or whatever, but that shit doesn't matter in the end. You know what I mean? If you're going to be hurting and wondering why they don't call you back or why they don't like your pictures on Instagram or whatever the hell, you know what I mean? The little things are what matter, and this person is not giving enough to you emotionally, or at least not what you want, and we all deserve what we want. That's the plain and simple truth. If you're a cross watcher, I'm sorry, but this Libra feels like they're not getting enough, and someone's going to be walking away here because they know that they're great. They know that they have big dreams. You are taking a leap of faith elsewhere, is what I'm seeing here, Libra. This is a beautiful spread. Lots of self-love here. Lots of self-love. You're not letting no one take control of your life except for you. 
Um, if you'd like to book a personal read, please DM me or email me. All of my information is in the description box below. And I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful rest of your two weeks. Take care, Libra. Bye.